All right, someone who knows a lot about cracking down on godfather-like behavior is former New York City Police Commissioner Bernard Carrick. He also has been working with Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who first obtained Hunter's laptop, to help push for much-needed investigations into both Hunter and Joe Biden's disturbing activities revealed on that laptop. Commissioner Carrick, it's great to have you on the program. Newsmax contributor, welcome. Thank you. So, uh, where are you and the mayor now? I know you've gone to Delaware with the sex tape allegations and files found on the computer. Where, where does this all stand now in the investigations that you would like to see happen from a federal and state level? Well, I think at this point, we're pretty much through the, uh, the entire uh, drive that we have, which was a drive of the last MacBook Pro that was left in, uh, in the vendor's uh, shop in Delaware. Um, we've given over uh, documents, a uh, copy of the hard drive to the Delaware authorities um, for them to look at, uh, you know, child uh, endangerment. Um, where that's gone, uh, I don't know. I know they did give it to the attorney general, the state attorney general, who gave it to the FBI. My concern is, did they go out and look at the child? Did they interview the child? Did they interview Hunter? Did they interview the child's mom? Um, I don't know if that's been done. It should have been done within 24 hours. If it hasn't been done, somebody should be looking at that because there's a mandatory reporting requirement in Delaware. That being said, we're at a point right now where I think the decision's been made uh, by the mayor and, uh, and Steve Banner to basically turn over um, all of the evidence to a number of reporters um, that are interested because, uh, you know, at this point, CNN, CBS, ABC, uh, NBC, uh, The New York Times, The Washington Post, Twitter and Facebook have all declined to report fact. These are facts. Yeah. This is Russian disinformation. You know Commissioner, I have to ask you, we just played some of that tape. Steve Bannon has played some of the tape as well, where he appears, Hunter does, he appears to say he's partnering up with, with a Chinese spy chief. What do you make of that tape? Can, can you confirm its legitimacy? Had you heard it before? Uh, I have heard it before. Um, it, it sounds like Hunter, uh, somebody else, uh, you know, listen, I, if you don't believe me, and you don't believe, you know, the emails themselves and the videos of Hunter that's on the laptop, you have to believe Bobolinsky. He was there. And if you really want to push the Russian disinformation issue, well, then the Russians would have had to hypnotize Hunter Biden and had him take his own hard drive into some store, into some vendor in Delaware and drop it off and not pick it up. We're at a, a point of ridiculousness. That's where we're at right Look, now. Look, Commissioner, you're, you're a former cop. You've got you and the mayor's laptop that you uncovered all the evidence. You've got Peter Schweitzer, who went to a different Gmail account, had permission to search through it, find, finds very similar evidence. Then you've got Bob Alinsky, who's confirming it all. That's three separate sources. There's others out there. That's called cooperation, and it lends to credibility, does it not? Well, it lends to credibility, and there's over the evidence is overwhelming. So there, there's there's three elements here. There's the child endangerment, which the state authorities should be looking at. There's the FBI criminal investigation that must has to be ongoing. If it's not ongoing, everybody in the Department of Justice and the FBI should be fired. And there's another element, and that's the SEC investigation. They have to be doing an investigation. These, these guys, the SEC violations alone that was uncovered by Jack Maxey that works with Steve Banner, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Anybody else would be in handcuffs right now. Of course, and it would be investigated. New York Times would have a team of reporters on this. Last question really, really quickly, Commissioner. Do you think Joe Biden even deserves his security clearance, much less a possibility of becoming president? Joe Biden's security clearance, if it was anybody else, their security clearance would have been pulled months ago, months ago. He shouldn't have a security clearance right now. It should be pulled. I believe that to be true. Commissioner Carrick, it's always good to see you. Thank you for the work that you've done on this. We will talk again soon for sure.
You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.